Hello guys, back again for another late night update. I've been working on this pretty much all evening after I got off work. What I got done was I basically finished up the planet system for now and I'll be moving on to other systems, physics, camera, audio. All of these systems are going to be pretty complicated systems because of what I'm, I've set out to build with Galactic Armada which is going to be a very immersive game in terms of uh, environment, in terms of physics. And uh, I'm ready to show you guys uh, the pl final planet update for a while. I will come back to it later on, um, but I feel like I have demonstrated the viability of the mechanic. I've done some optimization to improve performance. I got rid of the frame drop that was seen in the previous video. I added some more visual effects. Uh, I added the uh, updated the moon shader, so now the the moon basically the surface uh, catches on fire as it approaches the atmosphere. Uh, when the moon hits the planet, there are particle effects, particle uh, fire flame trails uh, coming off of the pieces that fly out into space. Uh, I've also demonstrated that I can move the collision object uh, around the planet uh, in any other direction I want and have it come hit the planet and it will uh, basically explode the planet from whatever point of impact it is. Um, so that's a good demonstration there uh, because that gives me freedom later on to have uh, say a big alien mothership decide uh, to do whatever I wanted to do um, uh, anywhere around the planet, maybe it'll start firing its beam weapon, maybe it'll uh, go grab an asteroid that happens to be floating around in space and try to throw it at the planet, and then you have to try to defend the planet, or uh, whatever. It gives me creative freedom. And when I'm programming this game, or any other game, uh, my goal is to be efficient, perform it, and deliver maximum creative freedom in... Uh, what we can program going forward without very much difficulty, without creating a lot of bugs or glitches uh, or problems, right? So you want to have a good architecture, number one, uh, that gives you the maximum uh, creative freedom without having to go reiterate and do a whole lot of work over and over again. Because um, I don't want to spend years making this game. I want to have a prototype out within a year working on it by myself just in my spare time. So with that said, let's go ahead and check out this update. Let's uh, look around here. Uh, you can see that I moved the... Oops. Loving one, loving one. Flew into the collider there. Let's go ahead and take off. See that I moved the uh, moon over here to the lit side of the planet. And let's go ahead and start the sequence. And later on what will happen is, is I don't want to give away the game, the story, because I am uh, also working on a story too that will use these mechanics that I'm building. Um, so I don't want to give away the story, but uh, this part of the story I can give away because it's going to be part of the marketing material. It's going to be the opening scene, and it's going to be part of the open the, the cinematic and the market and the marketing material and the videos and stuff like that. So I am willing to give away some of this as uh, spoilers uh, that I'm working on. Some of it I won't if it's part of the story and it's too big of a spoiler. So let's go ahead and start the sequence. All mankind. Nothing will save you. You will all burn. Warning. Warning. Planet annihilation imminent.
you can see that I also have been doing a little bit with the uh, textures and artwork on the core and stuff like that just kind of experimenting with some different looks uh, with this I was trying to make like a, a lava flowing uh, texture and then I was gonna have it fade or cool off um, and I wanted it to have some emission um, basically So let's go ahead and restart that and watch it from the dark side of the planet and then I'll go ahead and log off here for the night because I have to work tomorrow. So we'll start the sequence and I'm going to fly around to the dark side. Nothing will save you. You will all burn. Warning. Warning. Planet annihilation imminent. As you can also see guys, it's uh, completely frame stable, uh, not a single frame drop, not one iota of a frame drop at any point, uh, so we're good to go. Uh, it could probably be optimized a little more, and I definitely don't want to have all these rigid bodies uh, in the scene while the combat is going on, so yeah, there's still some optimization to be done there, but I need to develop other systems in the game before I come back to that. Anyways, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.